King Charles in tears as he's forced to make a shocking decision at Trooping the Color. The Trooping the Color ceremony, an annual tradition celebrating the monarch's official birthday, was overshadowed by an unprecedented moment of sorrow and vulnerability. King Charles III, the newly crowned ruler of the United Kingdom, was seen wiping away tears, his usually stoic composure cracking under the weight of a decision that would reverberate throughout the nation. Before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The events unfolded on a crisp June morning as the royal family gathered on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to witness the grand military parade. The precision of the guards, the thunderous roar of the cannons, and the sea of red uniforms marching in perfect synchronization were on full display. Yet amidst the pageantry, a palpable tension hung in the air, as if the very fabric of the monarchy was being tested. King Charles, flanked by Queen Camilla and other members of the royal family, stepped forward to address the crowd. His words, initially intended to convey traditional messages of unity and pride, were suddenly tinged with sorrow and resignation. My dear subjects, the king began, his voice wavering slightly. Today, we gather to celebrate the enduring legacy of the crown. Yet it is with a heavy heart that I must make a decision that will shape the future of our beloved nation. The crowd fell silent, sensing the gravity of the moment. For many years, it has been a cherished tradition for the monarch to lead this parade, to stand tall and proud, representing the strength and resilience of the United Kingdom. However, the burdens of this office have taken a toll on my physical and mental well-being. A hush fell over the spectators as they realized the implications of the king's words. Was he about to abdicate? The question hung in the air, thick with anticipation and unease. King Charles paused taking a deep breath before continuing. It is with great reluctance that I have come to the conclusion that I can no longer fulfill this sacred duty to the fullest extent. Therefore, it is with a heavy heart that I must announce my decision to step down from leading the Trooping the Color ceremony, effective immediately. A collective gasp swept through the crowd as the news sank in. The king, the symbol of unwavering steadfastness, was relinquishing one of the most iconic duties of the British monarchy. In the aftermath of the announcement, the nation erupted in a mix of shock, concern, and speculation. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of support as well as questions about the implications of this unprecedented move. This is a truly shocking development, commented royal historian Dr. Emily Ashton. The Trooping the Color has been a central part of the monarch's duties for centuries. For King Charles to step down from this tradition is a clear sign that he is facing significant challenges, both physical and emotional, in his new role. Others, however, commended the king's courage and self-awareness, arguing that his decision demonstrated a willingness to prioritize his well-being and the long-term stability of the monarchy. In a world where public figures are often expected to project an unwavering image of strength, King Charles has shown remarkable vulnerability and humility said political analyst Sarah Wilkins. This decision may ultimately strengthen the public's respect for the crown as they see a leader who is willing to put the needs of the nation above his own ego. As the nation grappled with the implications of this historic moment, one thing was clear. The reign of King Charles III had taken an unexpected and emotional turn, setting the stage for a new era in the annals of the British monarchy.